Hello, this is a quick video to mention a really handy utility plugin for Beaver Builder users. It's freely available on the WordPress repository and it's called Responsive UI for Beaver Builder. It's made by Chris Wharton of Ready Steady Websites. And as I'm recording this towards the end of January 2021, it is fairly new. It was just updated a week ago. And I know that Chris is looking for some feedback. So let me show you what this does. Now, I'm sure most of you are aware that for your individual rows, columns, and module settings under the advanced tab, there is a section for visibility where we can determine what content is going to show on which devices, depending on where you set your breakpoints. And commonly, I might use it for a complex hero section here where I want that to show only on the large and medium devices. And this is a row setting. So then I would create another row, which is a little bit more simple just for mobiles themselves. So it's easier for clients then to change those, particularly if there's some really complex movement with responsive stuff. And most of the time, Beaver Builder takes care of this. If you're using your responsive settings, then it makes available what needs to be available and hides what doesn't need to be there. So you can't make too many mistakes. But generally, I will be doing some more complex things with this and using it more often than I can even remember. And this is where this plugin comes in really handy. Let me just quickly mention, if you are installing this from the back end of your site under plugins, then you'll want to make sure that you put in the full title over here because it's new and the repository doesn't pick up on it so easily. But once you've activated it, what it does is it adds in this little toggle button. Let me just get this out of the way so you can see the big reveal. And there we are. Suddenly, I've got visual representation showing me what the visibility settings are for each of these sections. So at the very bottom, I'm just applying this to some modules. As I go up, I'm applying this to a column over here. And as we mentioned earlier, I'm applying this to these individual rows. And I think this is really handy because it's so easy to forget things. And sometimes I'll be doing some more complex things like here where I've added in this extra column over here and I'm really only using it for positioning on desktop. And it's quite easy for me as we've only got three responsive settings, it will be quite common for me to go and look in between those to see how things are working out. And it's quite easy to have this situation where if I move this in, suddenly without this toggle on, I can very easily think that I've added in something by mistake and delete it. So I think this is a really handy plugin. It's, it's the kind of plugin that I really like to see because it's something that I don't think needs to go into core because it just adds extra complexities for those people who are not going to use it. But I think it's really nice to have if you're doing more complex things so that's really all there is to say on it. Now, Chris did invite some ideas forward for it. And really, I don't think there is anything you could do. I think it's perfect as it is. There were a couple of thoughts of mine, but I think maybe they're ones to ignore. The first is that you can, I know, in Beaver Build, uh, register your own keyboard shortcut for this if you, if you wanted to do that. But I maybe not needed at all, maybe not worth the effort because it's always available here. I think the only area where there could be some confusion, and this is because if you're setting visibility on a module, that module is going to take up the full width of a column. So when you get a situation where you might have columns within columns, it's possible to not see what's going on. So in this case, I've actually got the visibility settings on the button. In this case, I've actually got it on the column within the column. I don't think there probably is a solution to this one. Perhaps it's possible to create a different color outline for columns within columns. But personally, I think that would just make it more complex, particularly for clients. So I think it's pretty much perfect as it is. So thank you very much, Chris, for making this. And for anyone who watches this video, can I just encourage you to go over here and check it out for yourself. And if you think you're going to use it in the future, then probably take the time out to add in a five star review over here because it's going to help other beaver builders to find this on the repository. It's going to help Chris. And I know Chris was talking about giving up his time to create some extra modules for us in the future. So we definitely want to encourage people who do that for us. Anyway, that's enough for me. Thank you very much for listening to this video. And I hope to see you again soon. Thanks. Bye bye.